OK, for this part of the question then, we're given this equation, gives us the height of the arrow at a distance d from the archer. It might help just to show a diagram of this actually. So I've got one here where we've got the distance d when it equals 0. That comes out at 1.8 and that's got to represent that the height that the arrow was initially fired at. Now if we're going to find out the distance when the arrow hits the ground here, that's going to be when h equals 0. So it's just a question of solving this equation for when h equals 0. So if we put in when h is 0, that's when it hits the ground, you can solve this quadratic equation. Now I don't fancy uh, trying to factorize this, so what I'm going to use is the quadratic formula. I don't like the fact that it starts with a negative here, so I'm going to multiply throughout by negative 1. And if we do that, we get this line here. So I can use the quadratic formula with a being 0.002, b being minus 0.4, and c being the negative 1.8. And if you use the quadratic formula, you'll get this line here. And solving this, if we take the positive value, you'll find you get 204.403, and the negative value gives us minus 4.403. Well, clearly it can't be the negative value because we're told that d is greater than or equal to 0. So it's got to be this answer. And if we round that to three significant figures, it's going to be 204 metres. And in part b, what's the significance of this 1.8? Well, I've already mentioned it here, really. It represents the height from which the arrow was initially released. OK.